Hi, the PoE Power over Internet can take single internet cable to send both power and data to the remote IP device. So there's no need power source sitting next to the edge device. It's a convenient tool to install the low voltage IP device such like IP camera, SS phone, VoIP phone. We also know the PoE is limited to 100 meter. If we want to extend the PoE beyond 100 meter, we need this PoE standard. One PoE standard can repeat PoE for another 100 meter. One thing very important about the PoE extension, we need a standard PoE system. What's supposed to mean? Let's just make a quick test. This is non-standard PoE. The PoE injector using the DC 24 voltage. And the access point only can take in the non-positive PoE. So let's just make the connection, see whether it's work or not. First, I'm going to connect the cable to the PoE port from the, this PoE injector. And just input and output at the PoE standard. Connect the input from the cable the, for the cable from the injector, and connect the output to the second row of the cable. Now I'm going to connect the cable at the end of the cable to the access point. There's two ports. One is the PoE port. The other is just the regular data port. Let's check the, check the indicator on the PoE standard. We can see both power and data indicator remain off. It means the PoE standard is not getting power from the PoE injector. In standard PoE solution, DC48 to DC50 voltage are required. And this PoE injector only is using a DC24. When the power passing through this PoE standard, the PoE standard detector power is overload. So the PoE standard in just enter the protection mode. It's not going to get the power from the injector and the whole system is not working. What's the solution? The solution is we need to replace the passive PoE to the standard PoE. First thing we'll do is just replace this PoE injector. Here we got the standard PoE injector, which will output DC 48 voltage. Now I'm going to power the PoE standard and I will remove the cable from the non-PoE injector and connect to the standard PoE injector. The PoE port, also the LAN port. Both equipment also call PoE injector but they are totally different. Not only the, power, the voltage but also the power handshake we will talk about later. Well, let's see if it's working or not. It's still not working. It's still no power and the data coming through this PoE standard. We still have another problem because in the standard PoE, the PoE injector will send a small message like the currency to the edge device to de verify and classify your edge device can su support standard PoE. If this device, the PoE injector cannot get the correct feedback, they will consider this is not the standard product, not the standard PoE equipment, so it's not going to release the power, otherwise it may damage your edge device. Because this one is not the standard one, we also need to add the PoE speeder. The speeder will separate the power and data from the cable. Not only this, the speeder also will provide the power handshake to the PoE injector or PoE equipment. All right. Now let's just remove the cable and connect to the PoE speeder. You can see once we apply in the cable, we can see the power indicator has been turned on. Let's just check. Okay, the PoE standard also getting the power, but there's no data yet because I didn't, I still didn't connect the Ethernet cable to the PO, uh, outdoor access point. And the speeder, this speeder is just speed the power and convert to DC tail voltage, which is acceptable for this access point. All right now, I'm going to connect the power, also the data port. You can see the power and the data 
is working. So the whole system is working now. In order to repeat the PoE for the non-PoE network, we, we must replace the non-PoE path and with the standard PoE solution. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, you can post it in the comment section below. See you next time.